Hello friends, hello, welcome to Hans Foodie Friday. My name is Jessica, this is Kenneth, and tonight we are going to make pork chops with fresh peaches and basil over a bed of baby spinach. So we, um, we made this earlier this week because we had peaches from our peach truck we have a peach truck that comes to the area a couple of times to our favorite theater. And last month we got a 25 pound box of peaches. And then next week we're getting a 25 pound box of peaches. So we're using different peaches tonight because we are out, we are out Can of our um, peaches from our peach truck right now. And Kenneth was like, these peaches aren't as good as the peach truck. Well, I know. <laughs> but it is still going to be amazing and he was kind of surprised at how well peaches and basil actually went with pork chops so we're we are we are pretty excited about this hello abby hello patty lisa clarence can i read the comments no because i'm right here today daddy's doing most of the cooking um so these uh these are pan seared pork chops that are going to be served with the baby spinach and, and it's a really nice rich sweet piece uh peach sauce and why it works choosing peaches that are just shy of ripe ensures that they retain their shape when warmed in pan drippings so we did notice that with our with our peach truck peaches they were a little they were nice and ripe so they were a little too overripe for this recipe uh, setting the pork chops over a bed of spinach and then adding the pan of slight of sauce lightly wilts and dresses the leaves and then seasoning the pan sauce with a zest and juice of lemon tempers the sweetness of the peaches so i am pretty excited on how he puts this together i'm telling you he completely outdid himself this week literally hello christina hello barbara donna kathy so all right what are we doing right now babe Ready? you've got the pan you've got the pan going for the uh, sauce or for the pork chops oh for the pork chops okay do you want me to put the pork chops in no oh okay pan Just... needs to get hot oh okay so the pan needs to get hot and right now you are cutting up i'm guessing basil yep and we already have the peaches all sliced. I'm just going to kind of bring you up here so you can kind of see. This is more of his kind of recipe. He has these brand new knives that he has just been loving. And you guys, I do not touch them. <laughs> they, are, they are way too sharp for me. I would cut my fingers. And I am perfectly fine with just using the type of uh, the type of knives that I normally use. Hello, John. Hello, Jean. Hello, Star. Star says hello. So I, my friends that work in the culinary industry, mm -hmm. um, if they ever were to use my knives, yeah, they'd be jealous. Oh, <laughs> are they better than the ones that they even get for um, school? Because I know um, that most of them get chef knives, don't they? Well, <clears throat> they buy their own knives yes. for the most part. And this is on a par with, a, these are professional grade. Yes. So, you know. May I show them? Show them what? Show them the knife. <laughs> so they got these, yes, they are so nice. I, I love the design on it. The design is pretty cool. They're bear knives, and they're made oh, in Germany, and they're they're forged with the this pattern in it. It's decorative, but it also helps when you're slicing things. That um, you know how a lot of times when you're slicing vegetables and different things, they'll be sticking to the knife, and with this design, they don't stick to it very well. So they fall off and you can be cutting a lot more efficiently. <clears throat> Star says those are awesome. I think they are too. <laughs> they are. He absolutely loves them, you guys. 
So it looks like the pan is getting nice and hot. Yep. So do you have to actually bake the pork chops or are you actually cooking them in that? Cooking them in this. Okay. All right. There's quite a few there today. Yep. We're probably going to have to do more than one batch. Okay. But those look like really nice pork chops, though, that I got you. <laughs> I always like how you say, oh, I got you these. Yeah, you're the one eating them, too. I know, but when I get you, when I get you meat, I always get you very good meat. So that's always fun. How is everybody? Uh, how, how has your week been? Hello, Debbie. Debbie says, yummy. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, we, as I said, we were quite surprised at how well the basil and peaches went over pork chops. It was just, it was, ugh. It was a great savory component to this sweet. I can't even, I can't even describe it. It was so good. Hello, John. Um, so what have we been up to this week? We've been working from home, kind of relaxed. Oh, last Saturday we went and watched Thor, uh, Love and Thunder, it made a family day out of it. Um, our children were not quite sure that they wanted to go, but we told them tough. They went anyway, and they ended up really loving it, laughing, giggling. I think the favorite part of all the, the movie was the goats. The goats and they're screaming. So, <laughs> oh man, that was that was really really funny. Um, but other than that, it's kind of been relaxed. Little Boo Boo, she kind of has like that stomach bug that's been going around. So, her stomach's been really crampy and hurting. She's been having a headache. Um, the weather here has not helped at all. Since we're in the triple digits, it's been like 109, 110 for the last few days. And that does not help if, you know, we're not used to those temperatures. We don't typically see those I'm, temperatures. I'm not like used August. to them anymore. Yeah. I mean, I, they, they used to be nothing compared to what I was dealing with when I yeah. was deployed to the <laughs> desert. But yeah. True. <laughs> True. But usually those temperatures, we don't see those temperatures until like August here in Texas. Yeah, and I'm been getting them earlier. I'm I am not looking forward to yeah. August. <laughs> um, the girls are about ready to go back to school, probably in about four weeks. Four weeks. Yes, in about. In and about one's going to be weeks. excited, and the other one's going to be upset. Yes, one is excited to go back because she loves school. The other one is in a new school this year. Um, she has so that leveled be, up. That'll be a little nerve wracking and very excited excited for her too but at the same time you know anytime you have a child that goes to a new school that has um that has some anxiety it it can create a lot more anxiety but um it was it was really good because i talked with i talked with her aba therapist this week and i was like hey she's starting to get a little little nervous about going to school so they're going to start talking to her and helping prepare her so it's an easier transition this year because it's you know different school different teachers a new principal that she's never met um, probably kids that she's never met either because this school is just for two grades so it'll be and it'll it be funnels in from multiple um elementary schools elementary schools yes hello sherry hello becca Becca says hi. Hello, Louis, Teresa, Melanie. Yeah, it's um, smelling so yummy. And um, another thing that I've been doing this week is oh, yeah. um, there's an author that I'm a huge fan of, and um, he invited me to be one of the beta readers for his um, military science fiction. Uh, series and um, sent me a, a, a section for me to uh, you know, read over and give my thoughts and comments on and you know it's it's kind of it was it's exciting because you know I'm I've been an avid reader for ever 
she's over here eating sliced peaches. Um, <laughs> and um, I got you extra peaches because yeah. of that. <laughs> and um, you know, I have a, a degree in English, so you know, I, I learned ab about you know how to break down literature and that kind of thing. And this is like the first time though I've had an author that I know that was like, "Hey, we want you to be one of our test readers." So I'm. I'm immensely honored by it and I'm like so geeked too and and let me tell you folks you know this is still in the rough rough draft set, uh, settings but just from the this little bit that I've seen you know it was about uh, maybe 70 pages worth on on a on a MS uh, Word document um, oh man it's gonna be good this mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be good and you got to actually talk to him on the phone oh yes I got to talk to him on the phone so. we've been chatting back and forth and um yeah he and i could probably sit down over some coffee or beers and go non-stop for a, a, a week <laughs> you know a lot of overlapping interests we're both veterans and um so yeah so how easy is it to make this sauce do you have to do it in a different pan or? no it's done in this pan oh okay So the ingredients that's involved in this is your uh, pork chops, some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, um, two tablespoons of olive oil, uh, three peaches with the pits removed cut into a quarter inch slices. I think I got you what, four or five peaches? Four. Okay. So I got him extra peaches on purpose. Uh, two teaspoon of zest and two tablespoon of fresh juice from one lemon. I got you a few lemons because I know you like lemons. And plus we like to, plus we like, ooh, plus we like to uh, put the lemon peels down our garbage disposal. Um, some sugar, regular salt, uh, a pinch of dried red chili flakes. Did you put the chili flakes in last time? Can I show them though? Sure. I made this when I was trying to make a star. Yay! It looks like it kind of like a poopy. <laughs> it kind of looks like a what? It kind of looks like a poopy. <laughs> a poopy? Yeah. Look. The emoji. Emoji poop. Oh. Because it's the... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, it's so cool. Okay, but I knew but exactly what she meant. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> okay. That's um, rainbow poop. So it must be unicorn poop. Two cups of fresh raw baby spinach, a quarter cup of fresh basil leaves, roughly chopped, and a tablespoon of butter. So this is going to be yummy. Oh, Becca says cool rainbow poop emoji. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Myra. Hello, Deborah, Karen. Hey, Michelle, I haven't seen you in forever, girl. You need to hit me up in private message. Cousin, cousin Michelle, Chattanooga area. Yeah, we haven't talked to you in forever. No. Oh, no. I found that at the store today where it's just like this big, long, uh, this big, long string, and they can make all kinds of different different things. What are you doing? Checking for the internal temperature. Oh, you're just checking the internal temperature? Yep. So we got a little bit. Yeah, they need to be at least 145. Okay. And what was it at? Like 105. Oh, okay. That's one of the reasons I've got it covered. Okay. Lower heat to medium low and peaches, lemon zest. So it actually doesn't take that long to do the peaches at all. No. The most, the most of this cooking is, time is, is getting the, the pork chops. is all the okay. pork chops. Hello, Levon. It's going to be yummy. What else have we been up to this week? What have you guys been up to? Are you enjoying the last bit of summer here before, you know, August August starts up? I know some kids start the beginning of August. Ours start the second week of August. I know a lot of kids that won't start until after the holiday. I remember growing up. Yeah. In, yeah. Oh, I remember. 
Mm-hmm. Star. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember growing up and we didn't start school until after the holiday. Star. Can I show them my star? It just made more sense. Sure. Becca said, this is I my just star. messaged you because something awesome just happened to me. <laughs> yes, I will see that message. Wait. Becca, I did see that you messaged me, so I Wait. will check that as soon as that is the not live a is star. over. That's no. a heart. This is for you. No, I'm thinking, you know, pulling your nose up like that. You look like one of those um, <laughs> Dr. Seuss things. The what are what are what are those people called? Who, Whoville? Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Who's. You look like a Who's. A, who. a butterfly. A Who. You look like a Who. It's a butterfly. <laughs> it's a butterfly. No. Buckle says sweet. Hello, Franny. I'm <laughs> Hello, Norma. How's it coming? It comes. So are you going to cook the sauce next or the other four? The other four. Oh, okay. Don't have any choice. Yeah. So part of the problem is, is that these were barely, barely thawed. Oh. Well, we got them out this morning. Maybe I should have gotten them out yesterday. Uh, yeah. Then they would have been completely... Completely done. That's the other reason I'm being really picky about the internal temperature on these yes. things because I could feel them when I was putting them in the pan and they felt like they were barely still a bit frozen. So, you know, True. not going to mess around with pork. No. Not with everything that's... <laughs> not with everything that's been going around. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Especially with that stomach bug that everybody's like getting has like the same symptoms of COVID, but it's not. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a stomach bug. So at all costs, I'm really trying to avoid it in this house. But uh, little boo boo just has not been feeling the best. She, what she said, as soon as she went upstairs last night, she fell asleep. That girl didn't get up till 1130 today. Oh, oh when did she fall asleep? I came downstairs at about 2, 2.30. Two she was still awake watching TV? Yeah. I'm having oh, trouble okay. falling asleep, Daddy. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, oh, you're going to be a bear tomorrow. <laughs> no, she's actually been pretty good because she didn't get up till 11.30. <laughs> Isadora, she, uh, she slept like normal. Used every last bit bit of milk in the house with her cereal this morning so that was the first thing that i did this morning as soon as i got up pretty much was get into the store and get her some milk and see if they'd have her popcorn chicken and they had her popcorn chicken so she was a very happy happy girl oh and that's one thing that we've been working on uh-huh so when i was at the store today I don't know how it is in, in your area, but um, a gallon of milk for us was about four, it's about 450 a gallon. And my girls tend to, tend to, when they eat cereal, they don't finish it and then they waste a whole bunch of milk. So we found some different bowls for them because we had a smaller bowl that, that wasn't enough for them. And then the bigger bowl wasn't enough was too much so we found these three cup bowls for them that's worked really well so we don't have any wasting of milk anymore um with marshy's popcorn chicken we opened up the bags of them today and we created like three individual ziploc bags of the popcorn chicken so that we could pretty much portion out how much she eats when she decides to have popcorn chicken because she's the type of child that she will just open up that bag and eat half of it and there's no reason for her to eat half of a bag of popcorn chicken and that's it you know what I mean so we're finding ways within our home on how we can uh, what is it help, help conserve preserve food a little bit longer especially with them well, we're Especially we're we're littles. we're working on not wasting food. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, is we're 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 working on on um, 
making food last. So that's one of the reasons we portioned out the, the, the popcorn chicken. Um, and then we also gave her a, a rule like, okay, well, you know how you like the canned peas and the canned corn. Whenever you have the popcorn chicken, mm -hmm. you need to be eating some of that. Yep. Now that doesn't mean you have to have a whole corn, a whole can. I think she ate a whole can of corn today. With well, the corn, chicken. I'm not surprised, but the yeah. peas, I, I don't know. Yeah. But the the thing is, is that we know she eats these, but we're saying, okay, you, you have to have that with it. You need to have vegetables with yeah. your your other stuff. Or if you're really hungry, you know, have a peanut butter and honey sandwich because she's a PBH girl and my other one is a PBJ. Um, what was another thing? Oh, we, we usually get like a family pack of beef hamburger because <laughs> it's cheaper than buying it separately it is and so what i did i can't remember how many pounds that was that i did today it's probably usually a four or five pound thing mm -hmm. and i made six i made six ziploc bags of them today to where i put them in a ziploc bag and then i flatten it completely out um, so then that's basically like six meals that have some type of hamburger in it. So we do those little things. Uh, we started meal planning again. That's one way that we have been able to figure out how to uh, decrease, you know, cost of groceries in the house. So And, and food waste. And food waste. So I'm curious, what, what have you been doing in your household? Because I'm sure that the groceries, you what know, have saying, went up. What were they saying yesterday on the, on the news that... The cost of groceries versus a year ago have gone up. Um, what is it like, twelve something percent? Yeah, something like that. The cost of gasoline's up like sixty percent. Yep, and I think uh, and, food and, how, and housing food is, is about twelve percent in housing. Housing I think was, was, was like close. five, five or six. Yeah, it was between five and six percent. So, <clears throat> with with the rising cost of things. Yeah. You just find ways. You, you've got to find ways. Um, mm -hmm. Ways to bring in extra money, ways to cut down on expenses. And, and let's face it, it used to be where you could do one or the other, and that was enough to get you by. You know, yeah. you can either make a little extra money, now, cut down a little bit. Now, now, you now you've got to do both. <laughs> you've got to be both. doing both because, yeah. you know... So Becca says, so my BFF is a Cordon Bleu trained chef, and he told me that the USDA requires pork to be frozen uh, for an entire year. I can't read it all. Oh, for an entire year to kill everything in it. So provided you purchase it from a large store chain, unless you have cross-contamination or purchased your pork directly from a farmer or maybe a smaller butcher, you can safely cook your pork to medium well and not have to dry the crap out of it to make it safe. That's a great tip. Thank you. Well, not a tip, but... That's that's good information. Yes, that's a great information research. So. And by the way, I hope you get a chance to eat at your friend's place yeah, often. Yeah, if, if, they're, if, if they're making the, Cordon Bleu. If, no, Cordon yeah. Bleu... Oh, Cordon Bleu train chef. Cordon, the, the Cordon Bleu is... is a uh, culinary school oh okay okay got it and it's one of the welcome. it's one of the it's one of the top culinary schools in the world okay hello deborah hello sherry okay well cool and and i i just if you've got friends that are that are trained culinary chefs <laughs> i just hope you get to experience their cooking yeah um and, and not just at a restaurant where they work because uh, let's face it, they're going to be doing things at their house that they're not going to be able to do in a restaurant. Oh, I'm sure. You know, because at a restaurant, you're putting different type of meals and all that stuff together. Yeah, at, uh -huh. at home is where a lot of the best ex experimentation She says, he happens. makes me food all the time. One of the best in the world. Mommy his food is amazing. I'm frequently his test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's always a good... Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, that's what that's what, that's as exciting as being a beta reader for a sci-fi author. You know? <laughs> I'll be your beta tester for your food. <laughs> I'll be your test dummy. <laughs> so I would imagine, Becca, that you probably get to taste a lot of different flavors that you typically would not taste. 
Yeah, I always loved it when I was at the Art Institute because they had the, the culinary school there. Mm -hmm. and, and they ran a, a restaurant as part of what they did there. Um, and it was open for like lunch and or dinner, depending upon how we, classes we were there. running. I, I would come. And, and um, it was interesting because you'd, you'd look at what the, what the students have come up with and you'd be like, I am not sure about this. <laughs> But uh, it, it always was, it, it was always good. You think they practiced at home before they came up with their menu? I think they practiced in class. Practice in class. I bet some of that I stuff, the, 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 the chef instructor should be like, okay, you better make that right now before we even think about serving that to anybody. I want to see what this turns out like. <laughs> oh, Becca, you're funny. You are funny. So Becca says, he's, and he's gluten and lactose intolerant, but sometimes gets cravings, so then I have to save him from himself and take the extra portions. <laughs> That's kind of funny, Kenneth. <laughs> that is. That is pretty funny. It's always good to save your friends from themselves. Yes. Especially if you're a foodie person. Getting close? Yep. Yay. Cause I am ready. Ready for yummy food. Mommy, this is so close to the star. Yes, it's getting there. Okay, oh, this one definitely is going to need more time. <laughs> Getting close. I'm just staring at those pizzas over there, you guys, and I just want to sit down and eat them. <laughs> I stuck the thermometer in on that one. Yeah. It was one of the thicker slices, thicker and the right thermometer right. went down. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of being around the same or going up a little bit, it, it didn't just went go down. down. It went from like... Here and drop like 15 degrees while I was sitting there staring at it for, you know, but nope, that needs it. That needs more time. Becca said. Becca said there are many items. Nope. Becca said there are many Ouch. items that I hated until he made them for me. He also has a secret spice blend that I could maybe hook you up with. Ooh. Ooh, that would be good. I'm sure Kenneth would love any type of special blend. <laughs> I hated Brussels sprouts until he made them for me and showed me how to do it. He also introduced me to, I don't know how to pronounce that, sous vide? Sous vide. Sous vide cooking. See, that's a good thing that kind of What, what sous vide cooking words. is for, for, for <laughs> those who, who don't know, uh, sous vide is immersion cooking. Uh, you, if you've ever watched like Iron Chef and stuff, you've seen them do this. And, and what it is, is you, you have it sealed in a bag and it gets put inside this water that is at a constant temperature where it's circulating through a heater and it's kept it so that it brings it up to that temperature and not past it. See, that's one of the tricks with a lot of other kinds of cooking is you know, it's coming from the outside but you're using higher temperatures to bring the temperature of what you're cooking up and then you need to, to, to pull it out and stop it at some point. With sous vide, you're putting it in, you're immersing it, and it's not going to go above the temperature that is what it's set at. Mm -hmm. So it is a very precise method of cooking and a lot of people um, have have uh, learned about that. One of the things I learned about from some some of my friends at the culinary school was that they use that sometimes when they were doing like steaks. They would have okay. it cooked to a certain point, and it would so that way they're not having to go from cold all the way to a specific point. They would know from that point that they put it on the grill for this much one mm -hmm. side, this much the other side. Boom! That's medium. Okay. That's medium well. That's Becca says, long time, low temp cooking in a water bath. He'll cook ribs for 48 plus hours and they all fall off the bones. Oh yeah. 
That's just like if you're going to make a pot roast. Don't do it in four hours. Do it over eight to twelve. <laughs> okay, stick this in this nice big fat part again. And see where we're at. Think we're going to make it? Yay, we made it! Now on to the peaches. All right, so got to lower the heat down and I'm going to start by putting a little bit of the um, lemon juice in there. Oh, just like regular lemon juice? Yes. Oh, okay. And part of this is, is that I'm using this to kind of deglaze the pan. Oh, okay. Here comes the peaches. Here comes all my peaches. I love the peaches part. So this is why I got more peaches than normal. <laughs> and they were good size ones today. But we'll be excited to get our uh, peaches for next week. Which reminds me we have to pick them up between 8 and 9 in the morning. That's when they're going to be there at the truck. And we're zesting a lemon on there. Is it working? I'm like barely seeing any of it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Zesting a lemon. So put some lemon juice in there, put some peaches, some lemon zest. He put um, sugar, salt, and dried chili flakes that you had mixed together, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, stir gently until the peaches begin to soften, but don't lose their shape. So it is really important with the peaches that they're not overly ripe at all because as they cook, they would get too soft and then you wouldn't have that nice, that nice shape. So, uh, Becca says, yes, many restaurants pre-cook their meat this way, then it's ready to just throw it on the grill. Okay. Ooh, yummy. We're going to have more lemon in this today than what we did before. Well, no, the, we're not really getting any more lemon juice. We we're just have lemon, lemon zest. Together. Yeah. Well, plus you have the... the Boop! squirted me with a whole bunch of lemon juice <laughs> hey joy hello my favorite dynamic duo <laughs> oh I my god people with lemons oh my gosh <laughs> you guys that lemon juice went shot right against my forehead thankfully thankfully i had my glasses on joy said becca Ouch. bennett my hubby Ouch. wants one we're buying one soon Oh, the so sous vide. Will, sous vide will change your cooking game. <laughs> That's right, because uh, I know Joy's husband cooks for her. She does not cook. If if she if he didn't cook, she she would starve. <laughs> Mommy, I made the star. No. And that's completely okay, you know. I made the <laughs> There are some men that are really great cooks, and then you know, and there's some women who just are. That's not. That's not their strength, and it's totally okay. It's life-changing. Do you guys have one? The souffle stuff? There's, we do not have sous vide. No, we do not have sous vide. Sous vide. No. Sous vide. Joy says, yes, I would starve. I know, I know. I didn't have my shake this morning, or not my shake, but my um, smoothie this morning. But I'm looking forward to having multiple smoothies as soon as that box comes in of my peaches it's gonna be so yummy so now what are we doing making the sauce making the sauce yeah don't do that baby you'll break your string that i just got you becca my bff upgraded his and gave me his old one you need one you can cook lots of stuff and not just meat mm. You know what? I think we'll have to look into it because I have no clue what it looks like or what it is and all that jazz. 
So I guess we'll have to look at it, huh, babe? Well, you can look at it. Oh, okay. I already have. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a clue. You, you need to wait, babe. We're still in the kitchen. No, I just want to fill it up so when you're done, it will be quicker. But then it's barely ready. Little bit, of course, is not going to eat what we're eating, so she's making herself some ramen. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. Hello, Jack. Okay. Oh, I am ready for food. Oh, and then we have some of our organic baby spinach. So we'll be putting some baby spinach on a plate. And we got these new plates that he is just absolutely loving. <laughs> Got these nice square black plates, and when he saw me, he's like, oh my gosh, those are gonna be so good for Foodie Friday. I'm like, yes, they are. Becca says, a good one is $100. You can add Bluetooth to it for a little more for monitoring it. Oh, okay, okay. Is that something you would want in the house? I don't know. Not sure? I really wanna start it now. Go ahead. Cause it, it'll be hot enough for you. Okay. So, Can you get the bowl no, <laughs> now what? Oh, you put the juice in there? Okay, so that is pretty much done. Oh, okay, yay. And literally, we are at the plating part. Oh, sweet. Hey, Harleen. So we're just going to put some baby spinach down. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, we might as well use, up, use it all up. I don't think Dodger will eat the spinach that fell, though. <laughs> I, I don't think so either. He'll take the pork chop, though. Yeah, That's a heartbeat. Sure. <laughs> yes. Yummy. Ah. Better give you three. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. We used them for mac and cheese yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to turn off the burner? Oh, you already did. Good job. You want to turn it so people, oh, yep. make, make sure that it's people already can there. see. All right. Hey, bud. -bud. Thank you for not playing with your toys. He always likes to play with his toys when we go live. Hi, buddy. Hey, honey. He's like, I smell meat. Freyella Cecilia. Out of my kitchen. But I really want to get my bowl ready. Harleen says those peaches look good. Please. Girl, they are so good. Oh, I hate the peaches. They are so good. I tried one of those peaches and I hated them. Oh, more, I'm sorry. More for me and mommy. Yep. Now. Can you get my bowl out when you're done? No. The sauce, when it gets on the, 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 the heat from the sauce and from the pork chops is going to kind of cook the, um, the, spinach. the spinach a little bit. And then you just sprinkle it with some basil. There's not such thing as too much basil. No. Not for this, not for this kind of dish. And there we go. 
Yes. And there it is, folks. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> so that is the pork chops with fresh peaches and basil over a bed of baby spinach. Pretty healthy meal. It's a little bit high in sugar. Because of the peaches. Because of the peaches. And yep. I added stevia, mm -hmm. not regular sugar, to this. Good, and that's I what think I did, that's last, what you did time. last time too. Yeah, yeah, yep. And then the the just a little bit of the red pepper flakes in there puts just a touch of heat in it. Um, it really is a a nice blend of of sweet, savory. Mm -hmm. It's it's just wonderful. Yep. All right, you guys. So until our next video, stay true to yourself. Be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. Peace, love, and photography, folks. And remember, everything <laughs> can make a beautiful image, including you. Have a great afternoon. Toodles!